Hey guys, what's up? Okay, so today I'm going to do a tag video. There's Rupert. But anyways, I just wanted to do something quick. I wanted to do a tag and I was going through different tags on my phone and the tags that I've been seeing the most um, this week and last week, it's been the, uh, the beauty tag and it's 40 questions. Now, I haven't read the questions. I have no idea what the tag is about. I just know that it's about skincare and makeup and something like that. So let's do this super quick. I'm going to try to do it super quick. I can never do stuff super quick, but we'll see. Question number one, it's about skin skincare, and it's how many times do you wash your face daily? I wash my face twice a day. I wash my face when I wake up in the morning and then at night when I take off all of my makeup and all of that. And if I, sometimes I take a shower in the mornings and then sometimes at night it depends so that's when I wash my face when I do that what skin type do you have I have I used to have very dry skin but now I think I have kind of like combination skin because in the winter it gets super dry and in the summer it gets kind of oily and I do have an oily t-zone by the end of the day so I do have to check that um, in the mirror or something because sometimes I don't think I have and then I look at my, myself in the mirror and I see that I have a pretty oily forehead and nose so and chin so what is your current facial wash my current facial wash is I well I use my the version of what I have of the uh, the Clarisonic which is not the Clarisonic again it's a different version of it but it's the same thing I use that with I have like three or four different kinds of cleansers I don't know why I buy so many cleansers so I don't want to buy cleansers for like a year or something but the one that I'm usually that I'm using right now and it's one of my favorites it's the St. Ives green tea cleanser because it's super gentle and it's perfect for acne prone skin and it, it's it has like green tea extract which is super good for the skin as well so that's one that I use. Do you exfoliate? Um, no I don't exfoliate sometimes I, I, I used to though I used to exfoliate probably once or twice a week but um, I don't use exfoliators because sometimes they're a little bit too harsh on my skin I suffer from I have very sensitive skin I have acne prone skin so I don't exfoliate but my version the thing of the Clarisonic which is right there um, that brush it's kind of like an exfoliator at one, all at once because it's that you can put your cleanser there so it cleanses your skin but it exfol exfoliates as well so I do that I use that brush probably twice a week or three times a week when I shower not every single day what brand do you use again I don't use an exfoliator what moisturizer do you use right now I'm using which I love I love this one I'm using the Olay um, Total Effects and it's seven in one anti-aging daily moisturizer and it's a touch of sun looks like this so it's kind of like a self tanner for the face and it has a whole bunch of stuff it, it's seven different steps and it, it renewals the skin it makes it just younger looking gets rid of fine lines and wrinkles even though I don't have wrinkles I love this because it's super gentle and it really moisturizes it's kind of like thick but you don't feel like you're like you're wearing like a thick kind of moisturizer so I like to use this in the day in the mornings and I like to use my night cream at night to moisturize and so yeah I love this one do you have freckles no I don't have freckles freckles but I've been noticing as I've gotten older that I do kind of have like a little bit tiny tiny freckles on my nose on the tip of my nose and I do have one mall right here like a, I don't know if you guys can see it but it's kind of like a genetic thing um, do you use eye cream I used to but I ran out of my eye cream I used to use one from Olay too and now I want to go purchase the one from Lush um, the enchanted eye cream because I've heard really good things about that one and again I want to try all natural products so I'll probably purchase that one soon do you or did you have acne prone skin I have acne prone skin yeah and I've always had acne prone skin since I was a teenager did you ever have to use proactive no I've never used proactive uh, makeup what foundation do you use I use the Revlon color stay foundation I have two different shades my winter shade and my summer shade I love that and I have the two different kinds I have the one for oily skin and the one for dry skin so I use the one for dry skin in the winter and I use the one for oily skin in the summer and the shades I can't remember but it obviously like one is lighter than the other one I love that foundation it's amazing it's a little bit too pricey though for a drugstore foundation but whatever how about concealer my concealer that I swear by and I love and it's 
honestly, it's like a holy grail product for me and I've been using that concealer, concealer for years and I still keep buying that one because it covers every single thing on my face without making it look like a mask, like I'm wearing like tons of makeup on, like it's, it's thick but it's not drying and it doesn't look cakey, it doesn't look like like I have like a paste on, like it's so, it's so nice. It's the CoverGirl and Olay Simply, Simply Ageless Concealer and I love that concealer. I have it in two shades as well, one shade for winter, one shade for summer. It's amazing. I love that product. Love it. I use that for spots and then for under my eyes, I've been using the Rimmel. It's kind of like um, the one that comes with the little brush. It's like a little brush and then you have to squeeze the product out, which I don't like. Um, it's Rimmel Perfecting something. It's to brighten out the, uh, the under eye area. Do you know your undertone color? No. But I'm guessing... I... No! Hey! Oh my god, he jumped. Be careful! Be careful! Oh my god, Rupert! See what happened? Oh my god. Oh, the camera. I definitely have to keep that. I'm not going to edit that out. Um, hopefully that was okay. Do you know your undertone undertone color? No, I don't. But I'm guessing that I'm probably cool toned. Maybe. I like to wear warm eyeshadows. I'm all about wearing warm eyeshadows. But the reason why I think I'm, a, I'm cool toned is because the first time that I went to MAC, one of the girls at MAC, she gave me a whole bunch of makeup to buy because I went there for the first time and I, I bought every single thing I needed pretty much. And every single thing that she gave me was kind of like cool toned. She gave me like a cool toned lipstick, which is kind of like a purpley, something plummy lipstick. She gave me patina might be a cool toned eyeshadow more than wood woodwinked or something like that I think. She gave me patina, she gave me well dressed which is like a blue toned um, pink so I'm guessing that I have cool undertones because of that but I don't know. I like to wear warm eyeshadows though and warm lipsticks I don't know why. What do you think of fake eyelashes? I, I like fake eyelashes. I've never, I think I'm the only person on the face of the earth, I've never ever worn fake eyelashes ever in my life. I do have a couple of fake eyelashes that I got recently, but that is pretty much it. I don't uh, wear fake eyelashes, but I love them. I love how they look on other people. Did you did you know that you are supposed to change your mascara every three, mo three months? Yep, because it can dry out. What brand of mascara do you use? Right now I'm using the, Rem the Revlon Grow Luscious Mascara with the huge wand. And I like it, but it's not the best. Um, Sephora or MAC? MAC. I love MAC Cosmetics. It's awesome. Um, do you have a MAC Pro card? No, I don't. Uh, what makeup tools do you use in makeup application? I use everything. I use brushes. All brushes. Do you use makeup base primer for the eyes? Yes, for the eyes, yeah. I use Painterly Paint Pot by MAC and then I use my Urban Decay, Decay Primer Potion. Those two things. For the face, I used to use a primer by, by Heart Candy and I really liked it kind of like perfecting primer or something like that but then I was noticing that when I would put that primer on my skin would get super oily uh, super quick so I stopped using it and I don't use a primer because again I have dry skin so my foundation it sticks to my face um, very well. What is your favorite eyeshadow? Color, shade. Um, my favorite eyeshadow, my favorite MAC eyeshadow if I had to choose one it would probably be Patina by MAC. I love that eyeshadow so much. And shade or color is the same thing. I like kind of like browny, golden shadows. But I do like shadows that have kind of like a red undertone to them because that makes my eyes pop too. So you use pencil or liquid eyeliner? I use pencil eyeliner. I don't ever, ever use liquid eyeliner. I do have it, but I don't wear it. It's because I suck at the application and the same thing with gel eyeliner. So I'm always using pencil because it's the easiest way to put eyeliner on, in my opinion. How often do you poke your eyes with an eyeliner pencil? Uh, never. No, no, I don't think I do. Uh, what do you think of pigment eyeshadows? They're messy and... Rupert, be careful. Feels like behind my camera now. They're messy and I have a couple of them too. I like the pigmentation of them, but it, there's just, it's just a hassle to pour some powder and then wet it, wet your brush and 
use a powder, it's just, I don't know. Do you use mineral makeup? No. Um, what is your favorite lipstick? My favorite lipstick of all time, oh my god, that's so hard. I really, really like um, the Revlon Lip Butter and Pink Truffle. That's one of my favorite shades to wear. And also, Max Creme de Nude lipstick. I love that one. Favorite lip gloss. I don't have a favorite lip gloss. I'm not a huge fan of lip glosses, but if I had to choose one, I would say I am obsessed with the NYX um, Soft Matte Lip Creams right now. The one in Antwerp. I'm wearing the other one in London right now, but the one in Antwerp is probably my favorite. What is your favorite blush? My favorite blush at the moment, because I can't just choose one, but I would have to say one that I've been wearing a lot is Luminous by Milani. I like that one a lot and I've had it for a while, so probably that one. But then I also like Melba by uh, MAC, which is what I'm wearing right now, which is a matte color. Do you buy your makeup on eBay? I Now I'm buying more makeup on eBay because I find it a lot cheaper to do that with free shipping and all that instead of like taking the bus to go to the mall to get it at shoppers or whatever, which is kind of expensive. Oh, which is kind of expensive, so um, now I'm doing that more often, but no, not really. Just every once in a while. Do you go to CCOs? I've never, I've only been once to a CCO and that's when, um, it was when I went to the US. We went to like an outlet mall and I saw like CCO and I was like, ah, oh, CCO! But I didn't buy anything because my mom, she wanted to just leave and I was like, but I was looking around and it was pretty cool. Do you ever consider taking makeup classes? Yes. When I went to school for journalism a couple of years ago, I was either deciding, I was, I didn't know if I wanted to take that program or if I wanted to take the, the uh, cosmetics program at the same school because it's the the only one in Toronto and so but then I was like oh I don't know so I took the obviously the uh, journalism broadcast program and I graduated and all that but I would love to take some makeup classes right now I'm studying something else though are you clumsy in putting on makeup mm, no I wouldn't say I'm clumsy I'm just clumsy like in general <laughs> but I'm not when it comes to makeup I don't think uh, name a makeup crime that you hate. Something that I hate... Uh, I don't know. I am not into the uh, just wearing like bright blue eyeshadows on the lid and like a kind of like a bright red lipstick like I that's something that I just I don't really like I always like to balance things out and wear like a neutral eye with a bold lip or a smoky eye with a nude lip I, I just don't get it I don't get the whole 80s kind of thing of like super bright eye makeup and then super bright lips I just because it's too much sometimes so do you like col colorful shades of makeup I do like colorful shade color blah, blah, blah. I do like uh, colorful shades of makeup but again I'm not the kind of person that wears all like bright and beautiful colors at once oh oh it's do you like colorful stuff or do you like neutral ones oh I prefer neutrals by the way yeah which celebrity always has great makeup I always love Kim Kardashian's makeup oh my god it's beautiful her eyelashes her smoky eye um, now she's more into like the natural look which I like too the cheekbones the bronzer I love it the highlight if you could leave the house using just one makeup item what would you use uh, definitely concealer because I don't have perfect skin and the concealer, that one, the CoverGirl, it covers everything, so that would be my product. Um, could you ever leave the house without any makeup on? I would hate it so much. Um, I've... no. Actually, no. If I had the chance to just have like a second or something, like usually, like we've had, we've had to come outside a lot lately because the, the fire alarm it always goes off and then the fire fighters come and the police everything and nothing happens and so I have two seconds to go out and I all I do is I grab my one of my tinted moisturizers and I just put a little bit on my hands put it on my face and I just leave so I don't know it would suck but whatever do you think you could look good even without any makeup on no not at all because I don't have perfect skin in your opinion what is the best makeup line. The best makeup line would have to be I MAC. 
I like MAC because MAC has everything and I love every single product that they make. But I, a drugstore makeup line I would have to say Revlon. They have amazing foundations, amazing lipsticks. They have some really nice quads too like eyeshadows and blushes and things like that. So Revlon and MAC. What do you think of makeup? That's the last question actually. Um, I love makeup. Makeup is my passion. Makeup is what I love to do. It's my favorite time of the day when I wake up and I have to do my makeup. To For me it's like it's really relaxing and it's kind of like therapeutical like in a way because I don't know I can be like completely stressed out or just bother about whatever and when I when I when I wash my face and put my makeup on, it's just it's so nice and relaxing and I feel happy. I feel like I can experiment and I open my drawer and I'm like, oh, I think I want this eyeshadow. I think I want this one. And then I try out different things with all my brushes and I just, I love makeup. I absolutely love it. Every single time I go to my favorite store, when I was little, it's so funny, but when I was little, I would have to say that my favorite store was probably some store at the mall because I was all about fashion when I was younger, when I was little. I was all about like wearing like the latest um, trends and buying shoes and purses and this and that. I still am. I still like all those things. But right now, if I had to choose like my favorite place to shop, I would have to say the drugstore or MAC or something like that. But always makeup. Every single time I go into a store, I always go to the makeup section first. And I just love when I go to drugstores and see all these like different brands, I just go crazy. To me, it's like heaven because I see so many things. I can test stuff out and just see just what they have to offer and all the new products and all of that. So that's pretty much it. It's 21 minutes and I still have to edit. So uh, hopefully you guys liked this tag and I tag everyone. I would love to see these kinds of videos from you guys. So hopefully you guys are having a really nice day and I'll talk to you guys soon.